Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today we're continuing our smart home series. We have the TP-Link smart plug here and this is going to work if you have an Amazon Echo or if you have a Google Home and it also has an in-app. So if you don't have any kind of smart device or smart home device, you can still use this. Now what's great about this one in particular is it doesn't require a hub. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what it's all about. We're gonna do a little review and I'll even show you how to set this up with your Google Home or Amazon Alexa. Let's get started. So what we have here is a smart plug. This is actually the Smart Wi-Fi Plug Mini from TP-Link and it's the HS105 model number. This comes in a multi-pack so you can get it with two plugs. This one here is the one plug model. So I'll link you to both of those in the description, but basically this can be run through its own dedicated app, or if you have a Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa Echo device, you can use that. Now we'll take a quick look around the box here. On the one side here, you have a few features, so remote access, scheduling, and away mode, which is pretty cool, and then a compact design. Now one thing with this, you can see by this picture here, it's actually not going to take up both outlets with one plug. A lot of these smart plugs tend to do that. So again, mention some of its features, and it actually has a two year warranty with 24 hour, seven day a week tech support, pretty cool. But they do have a lot of smart devices. Lastly, on the backside, easy setup. You can pause the video and read that if you'd like, but we're gonna go through it ourselves. And there is the Casa app. So if you don't have a smart device, you can use the app with your smartphone. All right, so let's open this up here. Let's see if a good spot to cut open. Cut here. I'll just peel this plastic back. Now I've been using a lot of smart devices in my home since I got the Alexa and since I've got the uh, Google Home Mini. All right, that was a lot more painful than it needed to be to open. Actually, it's a cut the top off there a little bit. Anyway, inside the box, first thing we get a couple of cards here, so happy with your product. Something I'm realizing about this company, it seems they're really big on support, even a support email now to contact them, so that's really good. Support's always good with a company, and this is not sponsored, so I'm just getting this for myself. Again, some more information about the product, and then finally, the plug itself. So we have the outlet portion of this. Basically, you're going to plug in this end with the prongs into the wall. And it has a ground too, which is nice. And then you can control it manually here. It looks like if we press this, this would turn it on and off. And then it has a ring going around like this. So that's probably going to be for some LED lights to indicate different things. For example, if it's on, off, or if there's problems, probably like orange, red, and blue lights. We'll take a look though when we set it up and then it's got some branding right here, TP-Link. So let's go ahead and set this up. We're going to use the iPhone for this. You can use an Android device as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this up here. I do have the Casa app already installed, but you can grab this in the Google Play Store or the App Store if you're using an Apple device right here, Casa for mobile. And once we've got that app, let's just open it straight up here and just follow the on-screen steps. I'll walk you through it. You need to set up an account. We'll tap create an account. Go through that, create your account. At this point, I went ahead and just plugged this in to a simple power bar here. That way we can actually get it to work. You'll notice that there's a little bit of a light flashing here, blue and amber. And we'll tap the plus button on the app to start setting it up. So we'll add our device. We'll choose the smart plug mini. You wanna power it on, ours is on already, so we'll tap next. You can just use the button on the side to power it on. We'll wait 10 seconds. Mine is already flashing slowly. You wanna wait until it flashes blue and amber slowly. So ours is doing that, we'll tap next. And now we need to configure the network. So what we're gonna do, we wanna find this network in our settings. So I'm gonna go over to my settings here, let them load up, and we can see it right here. We'll tap on it and we'll connect it. Once it's connected, we'll go back to our application, let it load itself, it should connect. And there it is, so we'll go ahead and name it. We're gonna choose bedroom. That's where this is gonna go, and I'm gonna be using a lamp, so from here you can choose a custom icon or even load one from your photos. I'll choose the lamp, and we'll click next. We'll tap next on our network, and we'll just wait for it to connect. 
So right now it would connect. There's an update, I'll tap to update it. This may or may not happen depending on the version you get. This one's been sitting for a little while. Once it's done, we'll tap done. Yours may go automatically to this page here. Tap done and now we have our plug connected and it's ready to be used. So I've got my lamp plugged in here to the actual smart plug and when you open the app, you'll see the devices you have here. So if I tap on the switch, it's going to turn the lamp on. If I tap on it, it's gonna turn it off. Basic functionality right there. If you tap on the actual device, you have a whole bunch of options that you can use here. You can set a timer so that you can set it to turn on at a specific time. Right now it's got off, I can turn it to on in an hour, etc. You also have an away mode here. And if I tap on that, it's going to set it to turn on and off at specific times and specific days of the week. The last one is a schedule here. So if you tap on the schedule, you can create a schedule and you can set it to turn on on certain days, certain times, or turn off on certain days and certain times. So there's a lot of functionality within the app itself as well as the little device here. The button itself will allow you to turn the socket off if you want to, turn it on, and even factory reset it. Now I'm gonna pair it with my Amazon Echo. You can do the same thing with the Google Play, but basically we're going to go to our smart home section and tap your smart home skills here. We're gonna enable some skills and we need to find the Casa app inside this section. All right, now let's just look for the app. So we'll tap and type and let's see what we come up with. That's what we want. We're going to enable it. We'll put in our account that we set up Okay, so now we'll just tap done and we're gonna tap discover. We'll turn on our device. All right, so now that it's paired, I'm just gonna turn it off. We have this option here, tap to control and edit. So that's what we created. We set it up as bedroom, we'll tap on it. Plug is off, we can turn it on, turn it off. Now I can ask the Echo here to turn it on for me. Alexa, turn on the bedroom. Okay. Alexa, turn off bedroom. Okay. Now for the Google Home Mini, what we wanna do is add the device just like we did with the Alexa. So I'm gonna tap the three line button at the top. From here, I'm gonna tap on more settings and then I'm going to tap home control. Now from this section, we wanna tap the plus to add new devices and we wanna find the TP-Link Casa app. So it starts with T, so we can scroll down here and there it is, TP-Link Casa, we'll tap on that. And just like we did for the Alexa, you wanna put in your TP-Link account. Now once it's authorized, you can assign the device to different rooms. It might make things a little bit easier when you're using the commands. So you have evening, good night, and light. Let's just set up light, so we'll edit that. Set up the room, if it's gonna be your bedroom office, let's just tap bedroom for now and we'll have that one set up for us. You can see it's active now at the bottom. We can tap done. At this point, we can start using it to turn on and off. So the same way we did it with Alexa this time with Google. So, hey Google, turn on the light. You got it, turning the light on. Okay Google, turn off the light. Okay, turning the light off. And just in case, if you do need to deactivate it, again, from the Add Devices section, remember how we got there, you can tap on it. That gives you the option to unlink the account. So if you don't want it to work with your Google Home anymore, that's how you can remove it. So we'll just exit the app one more time here, and we'll just use it one more. Okay, Google, turn on the light. Okay, turning on the light. Okay, Google, turn off the light. Okay, turning off the light. But that's pretty much it. It's a pretty good device. And like I said, you can get it in two packs so you can get more of them. I definitely like this because it fits in the wall and gives you space here. So it's not going to cover up all of your outlets. I also purchased this one right here and this is a different brand. I've kind of blocked it out because I haven't tested it yet. Don't want you guys picking something up that's crap. So uh, just in case, I'm gonna test it out myself. But if you wanna see the review on this, let me know in the comment box. You can see already the comparison between the two. It's a little bit smaller but uh, the quality is a little bit lower as well. I can just tell the color is kind of on the yellowy side, but if you're looking for something that's a little bit cheaper, it might be 
the way to go. So if you want to see a review on that, definitely let me know in the comments if you're interested in more smart home videos as well. Let me know what you want me to review. I'll see if I can pick them up and test them out for you. Anyway, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one right here. Also hit that bell button to be notified on your smartphone when I post a new video. And as always, I will see you in the next one.